How do you with mergers and acquisitions? Watson shall be companies with revenue between $25 million and $60 million pertaining to analytics. Let's see what I can find. I found 87 companies. Okay, so that's a good start. What do you think? Right. But I was doing some homework actually. I think we should pull that Watson strategy group out. There's a lot of key concepts in there. Let's get into Watson. All right. These two gentlemen actually run what we call a cognitive environment lab. Watson, please think of this as cognitive strategy. Watson, show me companies with revenue between $15 million and $60 million pertaining to cognitive strategy. Let's see what I can find. Yeah. This is the I have 112 companies. Now we're getting a lot of them. We can see we're, we're getting some connections to it. Watson, show me companies that are about analytics and cognitive strategy that are most similar to the companies in Wolfram Alpha and Kawasaki Robotics. I found three companies similar to the one you specified. Well, let's see what we think of these. Dive a little deeper. Let's compare these things. Sure. Watson, show me a decision table. Here is a decision table that will enable you to compare companies side by side. Watson, place the companies named Wolfram Alpha and Kawasaki Robotics and Cognolytics and Rayfield Media Technologies and Decisive Analytics in the decision table. Okay. Okay. I think we need a little more than that. We need some uh, other attributes. Watson, place the attributes named Revenue and Employees and Corporate Structure in the decision table. Okay. All right, so now we've um, got this side by side comparison. All right, so it's, it gets a bit deep into the technology itself, but um, certainly in the finance world. But the point is, this is where Watson starts to co collaborate with those of us that are professionals. You know, we've done a tremendous amount of work over the last few years in the healthcare field. We're, we're working with some of the top oncologists at Memorial Sloan Kettering and Cleveland Clinic. So Watson has truly become a colleague to these. these um, clinicians and oncologists as they're making treatment decisions, giving them various ideas. You know.